day 80 of the war in Gaza, addressing the nation on a day that 14 fallen soldiers' names were announced. Prime Minister Netanyahu declared that the war will continue until the total victory over Hamas. Netanyahu claimed that the warfare was the only way to return the hostages, eliminate Hamas, and ensure that Gaza will no longer be a threat to Israel. The Prime Minister told the nation that it would take time, but the army, the people, and the government are all united and determined to fight until the end. A new Egyptian hostage deal proposal has been placed on the table for a truce in Gaza and a further release of Israeli hostages held by Gazan terrorists. The Egyptian initiative lays out a three-stage plan to release all the remaining hostages. The first stage would be a two-week halt in fighting with possible extensions for the release of 40 hostages, women, minors, elderly and sick, and the release of 120 Palestinian security prisoners. The second phase envisions an Egyptian-sponsored Palestinian national talk aimed at ending the division between the Palestinian Authority and Hamas and the formation of a technocratic government to oversee the reconstruction of Gaza. The third stage would include a comprehensive ceasefire, the release of the remaining Israeli hostages, Israeli withdrawal of forces from cities in Gaza, and the return of residents to northern Gaza. Shipping giant Maersk says it's preparing to resume operations in the Red Sea. The announcement came a week after Washington announced the creation of an international U.S.-led military operation designed to ensure the safety of commerce in the area. The Danish shipper had paused sending vessels through the Bab el Mandeb Strait earlier this month due to attacks by Houthi rebels against its ships that rendered the Suez Canal, a key waterway to global commerce, unusable. Operation Prosperity Guardian has now been deployed to protect commerce in the Red Sea from Iranian-backed Houthi terrorists who have been firing drones and missiles at international vessels since last month in what they say is a response to Israel's war in Gaza. Experience the power of truth with ILTV News. If you're looking for quality content and captivating visuals, join our news community and become an integral part of our team as we embark on a mission to unveil the real Israel, dismantling the web of lies and misinformation that surround reporting on Israel. By subscribing to ILTV News, you will not only have access to the latest updates, but you will also amplify our message, creating a ripple effect that carries the truth far and wide. Subscribe today and help reshape the narrative. Available on the web, Android, and Apple.